Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going with the best players at each position in Madden 21 right now, guys. Have made this video in what feels like, or probably has been two months, so time to update you guys on an updated list here. Now we have daily content coming out like almost every day, which is kind of why I've waited because it was hard to do it, you know, a week ago when there was potential for literally like, again, Isaiah Simmons then come out, then Kamar. So what if I made the video that day, then Bo Jackson came out, then Rob Woodson. So just about every single day we've gotten the new best cards. I was kind of waiting until the end where we seem like we're near the end enough to where I can pretty much make this video and it shouldn't change too much for the most part. I'm sorry into this video though because you know this can take a while. Before we do guys, head on down below. If you guys need car, uh, coins to pick up all these new cards or anything during the Zero Chill promo, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. The holiday discounts are still going on, so make sure to take advantage of that. As well as, guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on that new bell, and comment down below. Now, let's start with the best quarterback in the game. I'm personally leaning towards Michael Vick. Now, it depends. If you're if you're a pocket passer, strictly gunslinger, you got to go with Rich Cannon. But I'm going to lean towards Michael Vick at this point because Michael Vick's the only quarterback that can do what he does. You look here. Michael Vick's the only quarterback with a 90 plus speed that can get all the throwing thresholds. And 99 throw power. But actually, he's gonna have 96 speed, so he's the only quarterback that's gonna have that with a sprinter can get to just about 99 speed. He's gonna have 99 speed, just about 99 throw power with all 90 throwing stats. He is a, the most dominant quarterback probably in the game that could, you know, that could scare people the most. And while he may not have all the abilities that you may want on him, he's going to strike the most fear into the opposing sense of coordinator. Michael Vick's insane, guys. He's insane. You really can't go wrong. Now, in terms of halfbacks, I'm going to factor in price a little bit to this. Just a little bit. So, Bo Jackson, 900 k right? And he's probably the best running back. But Alvin Kamara is going to be... Let's see. He's going to be 700 k So, there's a 200 k difference now. I'm going to go with Bo for the sake of, you know, speed, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I think Alvin Kamara may be better, if not exactly the same, because he may be losing one speed, but he's smaller. He has better break tackle. He has way better catching and route running, and I feel like he's more elusive just because, of, you know, I feel like he could the tackle a little bit better. But Bo going to have 96 speed, 97 excel, with all 90 plus, 95 plus power, and, term, and plus 88 strength, 6 foot 1, 227. The stiff arm, the carry, the jugi. He's pretty much combined, like, I don't even know. Put together, like, a prime Marshawn Lynch and then mix him with, like, some prime Chris Johnson. Yeah, that's pretty much what you're getting here. Bo Jackson's insane. I personally don't like playing with him, but many people do. We're going to skip fullback. Now, wide receiver. Wide receiver's tough right now. So, Randy Moss is going to be the first wide receiver, but you have to have him powered up. For Randy Moss to be the best wide receiver, he pretty much needs to be powered up because his power up does enable him to get to 96 speed. And then to have 90 the medium right running base, and then to have 99 deep right running will go deep. So that's the way he gets 99 spec catch, 99 deep right running, and 96 speed, and 90 medium. If you do not power him up, you have to go play fake, which means he gets stuck with a 95 speed, a low to a low medium mid right round running, and then he doesn't get the 99 deep and the 99 spec. So Randy's up there, but you have to power him up. Now for the next two, I personally, it really just depends. Now we've got a lot of receivers that have come out. Calvin Ridley's been good. dion has been good. Now, we're going to stick probably with Ridley and Dion here. Now, Dion does have 90, uh, 95 speed. The only thing with Dion is that he cannot be powered up, which is kind of the issue with Dion here. So, Dion's going to be like my third one. I may stick with Ridley over Dion just because of the fact that he does have a much higher spec catch. He does have the same speed, and he can be powered up and chemed up. Now, yes, the difference is going to be pretty much the spec catch, so I'm kind of leaning towards Ridley here. I'll probably go Ridley and Dion as my next two. If you're more of a power-up guy, then you probably go Ridley and Tyree Kill or something along those lines. But they're both really, really good. They're going to have to get a lot done. Now, again, as always, I skip offensive line because, again, offensive line is pretty self-explanatory. There's no meta offensive lineman. It's pretty much your heavy pass team. You get pass blockers. You're heavy run team. You get heavy run blockers. You're a mix. You get guys that are at least a mix or try to be at left end. Now, in terms of left ends, guys, the way things have been going lately, we're finally getting some more love on the defensive line. I feel like for a while... We we're getting outside linebackers and secondary and offense. We weren't getting too much defensive line work here. Now we did see Michael Strand. So Michael Strand's going to be the best offensive lineman in the game. You can't argue it here. With 
power. Oh, so here's the thing: he has 89 speed, 91 excel. He's one of the most athletic ends in the game, just like those outside linebackers. He has 94 strike, 96 tackle. So he's pretty much a sure thing in terms of tackling. 91 play arc, now 96 block strike, 97 power move, 91 finesse. If you put on block, if you put on run stuff, he gets 99 block which makes him the best run stuffer in the game, and 97 power move, which makes him borderline the best pass rusher in the game. Or you put on pass rush, and he has 99 power move and 86 block shit. Now he's the best pass rusher in the game. And arguably the best run stuff in the game. So either way you're good, you kind of just can pick that route based on your team. He had, I believe he had a high impact block as well. He does 97 impact block, which makes him really good on that. And then of course he does have 85 hit power, which is really insane as well. You can't go wrong with Michael Schramm. Michael Schramm going to be a beast all around, no matter where you really play him. Next at right end, uh, right end we have not gotten the next tier for them yet. I feel like that's what I'm saying. We're still waiting on pretty much a lot of the defensive line. Uh, outside of outside linebackers, but right now, so we have we have Johnson and Bosa now. We're probably leaning towards Johnson at this point. Now, I would personally, what I would recommend is you probably use a left end there because it's pretty some pretty good left ends. Now, the issue with Nick Bosa is he can't run stuff, which is why he's not going to be on this list. Now, Leroy Selman. The thing with Leroy Selman is that you can get his LTD, which is what you're going to be searching for here. They do not believe that's his LTD. He does have a 95, I believe, but it wasn't on the block. So Leroy Selman's going to be your best bet because, of course, he does have the block shot and power move threshold. As you can see, he's significantly lower than Michael Strahan. But you can get him up. You can get him up more, power up more. But again, like I said, look for his LTD in terms of when you're doing this because that's what you're probably going to want to using over his base card. Unless you power it up, of course, and that's, that's fine as well. Defensive tackle. Now, defensive tackle, see, as you can see here, we have not gotten enough good ones here. No 96, 97s. 94, 95, 1993 is our defensive tackle. Those are definitely coming soon in large quantities. I'm not sure, guys. Now, here's the thing. Defensive tackles really aren't that great this year. You got to rock with one. Um, honestly, guys, I can't really recommend a good one because right now, you're better off putting on some linebackers and ends and ends inside. I mean, you can rock with like, one of the Chris Jones cards. Pretty much, you just pick, pick a guy with a high block shit and high power move combo like a John Randall. He has decent athleticism, decent finesse, and block shit, uh, of course, with run stuff. Thing is, you're not great. That's just kind of the issue here. Is that defensive tackles just really aren't that great right now? So that's why I would recommend you probably stay away from them. For the time being, if you have a god squad, especially, you're really not getting any use out of defensive tackles at that overall. Next, we got left outside linebacker. Now for left outside linebacker, same same thing. They haven't hit the next tier yet. So for me, I'm gonna be going with Ted Hendricks. Or uh, Mo Lewis. Now the issue is here, they're both very, very good. So Mo Lewis can have 88 speed, 88 excel, block shed threshold to 92, and finesse move threshold to 93. And if you look at the back of the card, he also ends up getting a where is it, where is it? 81 zone coverage. So he's he's really good, right? And his height, he is six foot three. But then we have Ted Hendricks, who by the way, this is a base card. He also has an LTD as well, so. Always stick for the LTD if you can on this one. Ted Hendricks has 88 speed, 88 on Excel, so he's already slightly faster. He will get the block shot threshold chemmed up and powered up, and he will get the finesse with threshold already. So the, so far, Mo Lewis is probably slightly better because he has better block shed. But Ted Hendricks is 6'7". He gets 87 zone coverage, so at lockdown, he's going to actually be getting powered up. But everything he's going to get 90 plus zone, he's going to get... 90 plus power pass rush, 90 plus run stuff, and he's going to have a better speed. And you guys see six foot seven. So that pretty much means you can run in any scheme. If you're gonna run like some meta defense where you put your outside linebackers in purples or blues or whatever, he's gonna be able to rock those zones like a cornerback. If you keep him in, you can pass rush or run stuff. I'm telling you, Ted Hendricks. Probably the best outside linebacker in the game. Definitely rock with Ted Hendricks over Mo Lewis, although it was close to some parts. Gonna go ten and so let's go to right outside linebacker first to tell what we're talking about here. Now again, right outside linebacker, similar scenario. We do not have many of them that have been upgraded so far. We're kind of rocking with still the uh, the same ones from like the Halloween promo and uh, some legends. Now in terms of the right outside linebacker, we're probably going with Derek Thomas here. Only cost 130k. He's gonna be a solid passer, or you can take him a loose from the other side. But Derek Thomas with uh, run stuff will end up getting both thresholds, and he's super fast. Really, really good option there. Next, I'm middle linebacker. Let's see, let's see. We can go up here, because of course we do have the 50 Shazy and a few other guys, so let's move up. The guys that we have on the list here. 
Okay, so we have Ray Lewis, we have Keanu Neal, we have Bobby Wagner. Now, in the next tier, we have nothing. So, middle linebacker is another tier that has to be upgraded. But again, all these players I'm showing you without upgrades are going to be the ones getting them pretty soon, like those positions. So, here, the thing with this tier is it comes down to what you need. So, Bobby Wagner is going to be a bit on the slower end, which is kind of the issue with him. So, you really can't rock him at the linebacker right now. Now, you really just can't rock him because, because of the speed. People are going to complain. And now Ray Lewis, it's kind of a similar issue, although he does get, I think they both get like 8 and 9 speed. So here's the thing, if you want to rock a middle linebacker, you got to pick between one of these. Keanu and Neal might honestly be the best option uh, in terms of speed, right? If you want speed, you can go Keanu and Neal and zone. But if you want a pure middle linebacker, if you actually still use middle linebackers, again, this is one of those years where people really don't use them. Bobby Wagner will be your guy as a pure middle linebacker, so he gets 8 and 9 speed. He'll have 91 block shed. He'll have 90 zone. He'll have 95 hit power. He's able to stop the run. He'll be able to play the pass. He'll be able to hit the running back. A pure linebacker, you're going with Bobby Wagner. But again, people aren't really using them this year. Cornerback. Now, this is an interesting position. So let's start off with the newest ones because, of course, we did just get Rod Woodson and we got Dion. So it's obviously, our, our best throw pretty much right here. Uh, again, now, Dion Sanders is going to be absolutely insane. He will get 99 speed with sprinter, he will get 99 zone, 99 man, 99 play rec, and above 90 press. Deion Sanders all around with all behind the card stats of being able to run, change the direction, return the kicks. He's going to be the best cornerback in Madden. We, we can't deny that. Next, we're going to end up getting Rod Woodson. Now, Rod Woodson, only cornerback that gets just about every threshold. He will have 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press fully powered up and kept up. So he's going to be 99 everything that you need that matters and also have a 96, uh, 95 speed powered up. And he also gets, I believe, an 88. 84 catchers is insane. And he gets an 87 hit power. Rob Woodson's insane. He has a good he has a good frame as well. Now it's gonna come down for the third one to Troy Vincent or Charles Woodson. Now I think what Troy Vincent is, he's gonna get 95 speed. Now it's Charles Woodson, who is the comparable guy, which actually I can just compare for my binder, I believe. Let's see if this actually wants to work the compare button. Okay, so Charles Woodson fully powered out, because again, can't power with Vincent. And have the same speed. Less excel, more agility, way more jumping, same play rec, better man, uh, less zone, less press. So the thing is, if you're a man, strict man corner, like, if you're on a man defense, you're going Woodson. Because Woodson can get 99 man, and Troy Vincent cannot. If you're a zone guy, you're going Vincent. But that 95 jumping is important, guys. That's going to be the difference between big picks and just getting thrown right over, right? So it comes down to you guys. That's, that's going to be optional. We could use both of you use a four-cornerback scheme. You know, it's really up to you, like a nickel scheme. Then we got the free safety. At free safety. Let's see. We got um, we got a lot of safeties recently. A lot of out of position players. A lot of good ones there. But for free safety specifically, if you're looking for one here, you're probably going Calvin Johnson at this point or Sean Taylor, right? Now I'm gonna go with Sean Taylor personally because Sean Taylor is everything I pretty much need in your corner. Sorry, safety. He's going to have 94 speed powered up, 94 excel, with 96 hit power, with 99 zone. So powered up comes up 99 zone. He will get to 89 man. He will have a 96 hit power and speed. So high speed, 6 foot 2 frame. He can play his own at 99 and he can hit. You can't go wrong with Sean Taylor all around. And then if you want more of a user as 6 foot 5 type guys, you're going Calvin. Now strong safety. Strong safety is pretty simple here. You're going Isaiah Simmons. There's no ifs or buts about it. Isaiah Simmons is my favorite looking defensive player in the game. Wish he could be powered up though, but 95 speed, 95 hit power, 99 zone, fully powered up and chemed up. And he will have above 90 man. So he's going to be able to do anything. Put him in the box as a linebacker and use him. You can stop the run. You can hit the gap. You can shoot the gap. You can use her. Put him at safety. Let him roam. He'll have 99 zone, 95 speed. He's going to be able to just play the ball like any other. Like, no, like pretty much the best safety in the game. Or you're going to use him deep and I can have crazy speed to get pretty much across the field at any point in time. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy the list of the best players at each position. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.